What's going on humans? Welcome, my name is Nick from Analog Tabletop and we are going to do a few things differently this week. There's more info about that in the description if you're interested. These are the top 5 games that launched this week. Links to the Kickstarters are in the description. Pledge amounts have been converted to United States dollars. If this is your first time here, please like and subscribe to our channel. Now let's get to it. Welcome to Analog Tabletop. <laughs> Hi, we are Giovanni and Nicholas, but you can call us Joe and Nick. This is how our game works. There are some addicted monkey cards, which represent addictions. And when you draw them, they will try to kill you. You'll have three lives, and you'll lose one life for each turn that passes since an addicted monkey is in your hand. You need to get rid of this monkey card before it takes away all your lives, or you will be out. The last one to survive will win the game. At the beginning, you give five cards to each player. When your round starts, you must draw a card. Then you will be able to perform any number of actions. You'll have at your disposal action cards and figure cards. With the action cards, you can inflict one damage to a player with a monkey poo throw. Freeze your addicted monkey's brain with a frozen drink to prevent losing lives when you pass your turn. Reset your life with a blue magic pill. Pass the addiction to another player with an amazing monkey handoff. Teleport an addicted monkey in the deck so another player of your choice will draw it. Or put them all on top of the deck to doom everyone except yourself. You can use the banana card instantly to deny actions or deflect some of them, except for the horde. You can't stop the horde. The figure cards can be used to create powerful combos, like drawing a card from the discard pile, reposition all the addicted monkeys from players' hands onto the deck, and more. You can have a defensive, offensive, or super offensive playstyle. You can rush and go all in, using all your cards, trying to land lethal blows to your opponents, or play the long game and save as many cards as you can, trying to avoid addictions. You can choose how mean you want to be to your friends. Nothing prevents you to be pitiless and harass a single player together with all the other players by passing him all the addicted monkeys. But be careful because you could be the next target. A gameplay can last between 5 and 20 minutes, is super fun and easy to learn. There are two editions, the kid-friendly standard edition and the not safe for work. You can play with 2 to 5 players with one deck or eventually combine two to play up to nine. The game will include 56 cards, the instructions, and a scoreboard. The scoreboard will be used to keep count of players' lives. Don't fall into temptation. Get the monkey off your back and let this game be your only addiction. If you like our idea, please back our project and we'll deliver you the game. Thank you very much. You and your friends could be monkeying around with monkeys on your back. This is a light player elimination take that card game. The game has two editions, a not safe for work edition, as well as a kid friendly version. Pledge $22 to get a copy, but there are still early bird pledges available if you hurry. Kickstarter ends August 24th and plans to deliver by January of 2020. Become the master of the shipping lane in Import-Export. This is an economic role selection card game. It was successfully kickstarted in 2017, and now it's back with a deluxe edition featuring game rebalancing, new art, and metal components. Pledge $59 to get a copy. The Kickstarter ends August 15th and plans to deliver by February 2020. <laughs> Smartphone Inc. is an economic simulation Euro game for one to five players with a unique and elegant planning mechanic from Cosmodrome Games. 
It contains a high quality double layer game board, improvements and goods tokens, patents, technologies, retailers, and user-friendly individual player components, including pads, screens, and organizers, with more than 200 plastic markers. Furthermore, it includes the Steve AI mode, which can be played one-on-one -on -one or in a game with up to four players. Back when smartphones were only beginning to conquer the market, it was your destiny to lead one of the most promising manufacturing corporations in the world. Analyze and research customer demand around the globe. Get out of your comfort zone and try to increase profits by setting up new offices in nearby regions. Improve your production and research innovative technologies. Fight for control over local markets. Find your own way to success. Become the producer of an elite high-tech product or a manufacturer focused on the mass market. And don't forget to keep your plan secret if you want to win this race. Other companies want the same thing you do to become the most successful and richest smartphone manufacturer of all time. Help us bring the second printing of Smartphone Inc. to life. Pledge now and take charge of a smartphone manufacturing corporation and try to turn it into the most powerful company in the world. And remember, resources are limited. Life is a trade-off. You are the CEO of a technology company during the smartphone revolution. Will you take your company to new heights or make the wrong investments and bankrupt your company? Find out in Smartphone Inc. This is an economic game featuring action selection and bidding mechanics. This is the second edition of the game, having previously been released. Pledge $65 to get a copy. Kickstarter ends August 12th and plans to deliver by February 2020. <laughs> Legends speak of a world of magnificent mountains, roaring rapids, and deep, enchanted forests. Cleaved by icy plains and frost-covered ridges, surrounded by twisted branches of vicious trees. A place that hides unimaginable creatures. Beings from the mist have been brought back by dark magic. While mighty dragons ravage the land. Only by sheer skill, cunning, strategy, and mastery of the magic of wounds can you assure your survival. Don't get me wrong. There are lots of opportunities for those who are brave enough. You must live with each choice, though, as your actions will leave their marks, changing history and altering the world, shaping your path and molding the future. If you think you have what it takes, get ready to embark on your journey across Trudvang Legends. Become a legendary hero and stop the forces of darkness in Trudvang Legends, a story-driven adventure game influenced by Norse mythology and adapted from the role-playing game Trudvang Chronicles. The game changes and remember your choices as the story continues between play sessions. Pledge $100 to get a copy. The Kickstarter ends August 14th and plans to deliver by December 2020. Before revealing the pick of the week, here are the honorable mentions that didn't quite make the list. Gore vs. Time is a deck building game developed with fans of the heavy metal band in mind. Carroll County Cake Swap is a print and play card game where you build cakes out of cards trying to get the most ribbons. On the Rocks is a game about making mixed drinks using marbles as ingredients and drafting them to your board. Sharpen your swords, ready your spells, gather your allies. The ruthless Queen Darmian rules the kingdom of Estelia with an iron fist, but an ancient prophecy has emerged which threatens her reign. Your 
adventure starts in a humble village, leads you across the kingdom, and eventually to the seat of the Queen's power, the peerless and ancient Tower of Greylock. Adventure Tactics Damian's Tower is an encounter-based campaign-driven cooperative game with a completely freeform level-up system. Begin your journey as one of five basic classes and battle your way through a branching campaign where you choose your own path in an attempt to overthrow the evil queen. With each encounter, you will level up and unlock over 15 elite classes, adding new actions, equipment, and abilities. Each class has multiple levels to explore. Advance along one track or add skills from another. Mix and match to customize your ideal hero. The hero and story are entirely up to you. It's your adventure, your choice. Will your team find the right combination of classes and powers in time to stop Queen Damien? Let the adventure begin. Adventure Tactics, Damien's Tower. Grab a hero, choose your class, and build your deck to take on the Hobgoblin Chieftain in Adventure Tactics. This is a campaign deck building game where you play a class of a hero, and as you level up, you can modify and change your class and play style. You can even modify your deck by adding other classes to yours that will lead to an elite class. Between adventures, there is a choose-your-own-adventure style campaign with multiple endings for replayability. While it might be a bit of a surprise, this game has a lot of elements I really enjoy. One of my favorite video game systems is the job system, like in the games Final Fantasy III and Final Fantasy Tactics. This game takes that idea and combines it with the fun and customization of deck building, excitement, and unpredictability of choose-your-own-adventure books to make something interesting, and that is why it is Analog Tabletop's Pick of the Week. Pledge $75 to get a copy, the Kickstarter ends August 23rd, and plans to deliver by July 2020. And that's it for this week. What was your favorite games? Are you going to back any of these projects? Do you think there was a game we missed this week? Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.